everybody, welcome to the Sway Corner. Those joining us for the very first time, welcome you all. Welcome. Let's get started, y'all. Yeah, it's a mess. We're going out. Get ready with me. And of course, it's a vlog. I got a new tattoo, guys, um, on the one arm. Looks pretty. Anyway, I'm putting a new wig on. I got this wig from Nashley Hair. She's one of my friends. And yeah, it's a new wig. I didn't know what I was going to do with my hair. So that, because my hair is a mess. And I really like this wig the first time I'm wearing it. Didn't wash it, didn't bleach it. I will see myself regret this a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, it's a almost full frontal type of a wig. It comes with three clips on the sides and then the one at the back. And then of course it comes with that um, strap thingy at the back of it and at the, that one. And so now I'm just fitting onto my head because I didn't do that prior to this. I'm wearing a wig cap because again, I have hair in this one. And I like a small cap like that because it just suits my head. And also the color I like because I didn't bleach this wig. I didn't think about bleaching it uh, because I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, so I'm fitting on this wig to my hair and then trying to like just make sure that it fits my front line it fits the sides nicely so i'm just clipping the heads back i'm excited to be going out um while i was busy putting on this wig i didn't think it was going to be this dramatic to put on but it became such homework and to do like so much work because first of all i was supposed to bleach the knots i didn't bleach the knots i didn't even think about it until then because i wasn't gonna wear this hair but last minute i was like my natural hair is too much work and it's too hot the gel was just gonna be like falling off to my face and so anyway we're going ahead and i'm fitting this wig on nicely it fits and then i pull it back because it fits i apply got to be glue gel on my forehead now guys again challenges uh at this time um i haven't even took so i don't really have all my like my hair dryer to like dry the gel off properly or anything so i'm freestyling this and praying to god that it sticks uh and it doesn't go wrong once I put the gel on and I put the thing on, I realized, no, I need to cut it because I can lay the, the thing nicely. Now, I've already put on the gel. See how chaotic this is going? It's already going. And then I've got spray that got to be glue on just to, like, get the whole situation sorted um, and make it lay there. Then I realized, oh, since I don't have the gel, I might as well just put the um, rubber elastic band thing on because now the center. And then I put that on. And I decided to go chill for, like, five to ten minutes just... Um, chilling within the uh, the gel dry now usually you have to wait for the gel to like dry properly before you do the elastic band thing but you know, guys I was desperate and I wanted for it to I wanted the thing to stick I didn't have enough time for me to get ready to go out but anyway it worked and then the center was fine it did stick and then already in those moments I'm regretting not bleaching this uh, lace beforehand but we are already here anyway so I continue on to the sides same procedure gel line the lace up nicely to make sure that it fits the area where i want it to go pull the hair back let it lay flat take about five minutes before i go in with the gel so let it be a little bit sticky and then i go with the gel at the top and then i cut off i think at the edge of my ear because it was going a little bit over to make sure that when i do put the elastic on it doesn't like um, go over my ear because i also have a new piercing on that ear and so it was like a bit hurtful but anyway i continue the process on the other side also and yeah and then i put the elastic back on and then i wait for another 10 15 minutes um just hanging around luckily it was warm enough and the gel then the weather is dry enough for the gel to like dry and so there i am trying to do this guys if you have a hair dryer it goes so much quicker this process of just the air mm, not the best solution but anyway we already uh and i need to go out and i've already made up my mind so after about 15 20 minutes off i come back and the thing is dried and i've cut the edges off nicely and i cut the extra um lace off please make sure that you use like a jagged 
edge like those scissors with like a z type of thing those they cut better the, the, the lace this is the only scissors i could find so i used what i had to my disposal cut off the free edges um measure it again to my ear uh, in the meantime i think i added a little bit of gel to those areas that were like not really sticking to the hair and then i used a hot comb to just comb through and guys i didn't even have time to pluck this wig like i usually would have plucked it but we are here we are here it's better just walk out we are here i don't know cold comb combing through making sure the edges are whatever in the meantime i'm cutting you're not seeing it because it's too much of film but i'm cutting and i'm making sure the lace is like nicely close to the hairline once i'm happy with what at least it looks like and we've hidden most of the lace and then cut off the ones i don't need i go in again with the elastic band and just to make sure everything lays um, and before I do this anyway, I've gone in with a bit of gel and just to clear those areas that are like lifted from the lace. So that's basically what I'm doing. And then, and then I, of course, I go in and then put the the lace on. Now I'm just going to I just continue while that is like drying. I go, go on with, of course, my makeup, guys. You guys already know the process. I don't even know if I'm gonna stock through this whole process. I've listed all the products that I'm using. Now I don't. Don't see me do my eyebrows because you guys already know i have a video on my channel about already how i do my eyebrows so i just go and clean up i don't even know what i wanted this to look like but anyway here we are after about 10 minutes the head tells you um okay this gel is dry i clean um with alcohol that area just for the lace because now we are going to into the face makeup and you don't want the shiny spots on your forehead so i'm cleaning there i should have literally i should have tinted this lace i should have cut the strip off a little bit but that all that didn't happen anyway fine i wouldn't really get no time for all of that so i go in with the spf and i apply that nicely all over my face because we're going out in the sun we're going to be out for a while and i always apply my spf and then i as usual do my eyes first uh, try to figure that out because i'm wearing like a white outfit so i was like mm, do i make color do i just let it stick like that anyway so i try to figure it out while we're doing all of this and yeah there we are and you wasn't even using like a ring light while i was doing this whole story it's just the normal like um natural lighting and usually this corner is so cold if i have my ring light but oh today it was just a lot of sunny and the clouds was just coming in and out so it was really going dark and then light and i didn't have a mirror in front of me so i was trying to use the camera as, as my mirror can we just say this whole setup thing was just a mess but anyway we are continuing forward because we don't have time we have to get ready like i've wasted about an hour just trying to get that wig on properly with not the right things that i need the equipment and everything on my normal process and oh, it's so hot just to make sure that it sticks anyway so i'm going with the i'm using the foshini color palettes mostly it's what i had at my disposal i don't travel with a lot of makeup that was already there that's what i used and just to do something very simple but colorful on the eye um to just um get a bit more color to my white outfit that i'm planning on wearing because today i was supposed to wear white um uh, yeah so basically that and while i'm doing my makeup i'm usually thinking oh my gosh what am i going to do with this hair because it's shorter than i thought it's a beautiful wig but it's shorter than i thought also on the sides you don't get the full like um mesh and lace like you would for a normal full lace the lace is very very small it usually ends to like it's only like maybe two of let me get like five five centimeters only from the actual lace to the ear part so it doesn't you don't have a lot of like lace to play around with so yeah so that's basically one of the struggles with this lace otherwise it's cool it's cheap i think it was just under a thousand dollars when i got it um or it's a thousand dollars one of the two anyway so i fast forward everything because the camera was doing its thing i finished my eye off camera because everything yeah it wasn't working and then i go in and i try to finish the eye and i'm like okay that looks like i can be happy with this let's do the face at least that looks familiar mind you so yeah there it is um revlon of course we must prime and i like this primer well technically i didn't have a choice it was a primer that i traveled with so it's the only primer that we have usually i would have done something more um matte because i like matte things well when we go out but i didn't have a matte anything so that was the one the revlon one that i had on hand that's the one i'm going to use it's really my favorite one in winter not in summer 
but we are here and then i go in with this um wet and wild eyeshadow primer and i'm like oh wait if it can prime my eyelids uh, i can also use it on my face to just mattify my face a little bit because it's gonna be a long day mind you this is like in the afternoon i mean by the time i this guy's like more than nine hours away so oh yeah that will work so i put that on my face a little bit um to just get extra prime coverage to make sure my makeup stays put uh, and i continue and i do a lot of that also when you're going out please don't have conversation with people like get ready on your own so that you have enough time you don't get distracted but anyway there we are and then i go in with the foundation that i traveled with elizabeth arden that's the one i had it really works i love it it's cool and yeah basically it works it really does work anyway so i go in and then i try to also put a little bit of foundation on the list to see if it will cover and i realize it works so what i have left on my brush after i put it on my face i put on the list that everybody has exposed to just blend it in it looks like it blended in very very nicely yo it works and then i went in with this highlighter from like the shimmer from um, um signature and i was like what the heck it's a very nice shimmer but it dries out very very quickly a uh, don't put it if you're going to use it please put it on the one cheek and then blend it out immediately don't let it sit uh, because you let it sit it will just become blots it's very hard to blend then it ruins everything because then it becomes patchy don't do that i learned that the hard way you don't see it here because i don't have time for all of that things you're only seeing the beautiful parts of well, most of the things the nice things but anyway so we continue on highlight the face and all of that good stuff Anyway, I'm just gonna play music and then you're gonna see the rest because mm, the rest is like the usual. While I try to get my face beat, uh, make sure I'm happy. the part of me actually finishing up final touches um, making sure everything looks good I look like I'm happy now let's tackle this hair that I didn't think I was gonna have a problem with by the way this would have looked very nice me with a pin back look would have looked very very nice but I was like maybe I can do something but no of course I didn't have like my blow dryer there and everything so I got my like and my sister to like help me out um, with the hair because I really like a side part and we tried to like straighten the hair the best that we could again I just think I should have planned out how this hair would look or how I would have wanted it to look so I can be comfortable with the hair itself although the hair is not a problem it's just I couldn't f mm, I just I just I, it was just a struggle so here we are trying to like straighten the hair nicely and then getting the while we are straightening I'm trying to get the side part situation um my face looks beat though shoot my face looks beat i like it really cute um this is us trying to figure it out uh anyway 
so time runs out and then you don't really see me do much except you don't even see me because then this was like i was running late because we had like what time we are meeting situation and yeah the i was like i don't even have time to fill the, the rest of it we'll figure it out let's get dressed and try and get out of here and like clean the space where i was at so and have something to eat beforehand but anyway so all of that stuff so yeah you don't that's basically guys me at home i think it worked out in the end um i'm just gonna insert a picture of what my whole entire outfit looked like before i left home and then yeah let's go out and have some fun and i don't have any more points but yeah let's go out and have some fun please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and yeah Happy New Year, guys. Sure. 2023. Ivan is really a dress for skinny cow. The rest of us are not really dressed for skinny cow. <laughs> yes, make my vlog. Yes. I was <laughs> <laughs> out, but you. You recognize a girl still. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Ivan, Ivan, you Oh. Welcome to the sway corner. <laughs> Guys, get your boat ready, we are about to... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>